Biogeochemical Cycles by Haley Rollins, Sarah Doring, and Harrison McAlevey. The Carbon Cycle The carbon cycle starts with carbon in the air. The carbon is then used by plants for photosynthesis and stored in carbon compounds in the plants. These carbon compounds can either decay into an organic material called peat, partially decayed plant matter. There is an accumulation of this material and pressure eventually compacts it into coal. The coal is then burned by factories to produce electricity. The carbon is then returned to carbon dioxide in the air. Or it can be eaten by animals and then through respiration and decay be returned to carbon dioxide in the air. The Nitrogen Cycle About 80% of the Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen. Unfortunately, nitrogen can't be used by most living organisms. It has to first be fixed by certain bacteria. The bacteria chemically combine nitrogen in the air to form nitrates and ammonia, so it can be used by plants and turned into plant proteins. Organisms that eat the plants ingest the proteins and excrete ammonia. Bacteria then change the ammonia back into nitrogen. The Oxygen Cycle The oxygen cycle starts out with oxygen in the atmosphere. Through respiration, animals and plants take in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide. The plants then use sunlight to turn carbon dioxide into oxygen through a process called photosynthesis. Plants give off about 10 times more oxygen during photosynthesis than they consume during respiration. In a river sink or body of water with fish or other organisms, the plants intake carbon dioxide and give off oxygen during photosynthesis. The organisms use the oxygen. The plants produce as much oxygen as the organisms use, then the aquatic ecosystem is in a state of equilibrium. If not, then there is an imbalance in the amount of oxygen used and the amount produced. There would not be enough oxygen, and the organisms would die. The Phosphorus Cycle The largest reservoir of phosphorus is in sedimentary rock. The phosphorus cycle begins in these rocks. Through weathering, phosphates are removed from the rocks and deposited through the soil and water. Plants take up the phosphate ions from the soil. The phosphates then move from plant to animal when the plants are eaten by the animals. The phosphates can then return to the soil through urine and feces, and also through decomposition when the plants and animals die. Reservoir, a place where anything is collected or accumulated in great amount. Sink, a low-lying, poorly drained area where waters collect and sink into the ground or evaporate. Organic, characteristic of, pertaining to, or derived from living organisms. Inorganic, not having the structure or organization characteristic of living bodies. Imbalance, the state or condition of lacking balance, as in proportion or distribution. Equilibrium, equal balance between any powers, influences, etc. Accumulation, act or state of accumulating, state of being accumulated. Deposition, the state of being deposited or precipitated. 